Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this geometric pattern using the polygon tool in Adobe Photoshop. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a document. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create New. I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color mode and then background content set to transparent. And then we'll go ahead and click on Create. From here, we are going to use the polygon tool. So you're going to find that under the shapes. If you hover over the shape tool and right click, you will see the list of shape tools and it will be the polygon tool here. First off, we are going to look up at our settings here. Uh, next to the number sign here, we are going to set it to four. And then we are going to click on this settings icon here. The settings for this, you will want to make sure uh, symmetric is selected and then under star ratio here, we are going to put 25% and then you'll want to make sure smooth star indents is selected. So we'll go ahead and exit out of there. And then I'm just going to uh, set my colors back to default for black here. And then just clicking on the canvas here, I'm going to do a width of 12 pixels and a height of 1200 pixels and then we will go ahead and click on OK. Next I'm going to align this to the center so going over to my layers panel here I'm going to uh, click M on the keyboard to access my marquee tool. We're going to go command A and then V for the move tool and then we are going to center it horizontally and vertically and then I'm going to go ahead and deselect command or control D so looking at our shape here, um, we set our dimensions to 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. So, so looking at it here, it's a little bit different than what I would expect. So if I were to do a square at 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, it would fill the entire uh, canvas here because it is that size. So it behaves a little bit different um, from the size perspective. But when I go ahead and rotate this, we'll go... Um, command T, Command or Control T here, and then under the rotation, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it 45 degrees, and then it automatically matches the dimensions of our document here. So for some reason, that's a little bit weird uh, for creating the size of it, but um, in this case, when you rotate it the 45 degrees, we get it to fill our, our canvas of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. From here, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer by right clicking and then select duplicate layer and then clicking OK here. And then we are going to move this to the corner. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and turn the pattern preview on. So we're going to go to view pattern preview and then we'll zoom out command or control the minus key here and then with that layer selected we'll just drag it here to the corner until we get the grid lines uh, to show. And so now we have our basic pattern here. So let's go ahead and define this as a pattern. So let's go edit, define pattern, and then you can give it a name if you'd like and then just click on OK. And then let's go ahead and test this pattern in a new document. So we'll go to file new. This time I'm going to use the dimensions of 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode RGB color mode, and then we'll just leave background content set to transparent and then click create. And then we are going to bring up a pattern adjustment layer, so we'll select pattern here and then just clicking on OK and then I'm going to go to my patterns window here. If you do not have your open, you can go to windows and then select patterns here. So I'm going to uh, select my newly created pattern here and then let's go ahead and scale it down. So just double clicking when this uh, dialog box is open, you have the option. You could always move it around if you'd like to. Um, if you want to get back to the original, just click on snap to origin. And then let's go ahead and scale it down. Let's try 50%. Um, I'm going to actually go down to 25% to make it smaller scale there. And then click on OK. And then let's go ahead and add some color adjustment layers. That way we can change the color of it. So just clicking here for a solid color adjustment layer. And then we'll leave this black for a moment. And then just clicking uh, between the two layers 
um, option click or alt click for PC. We now have the color there and then let's do uh, let's do one more solid color adjustment layer. Uh, this time let's just select white for the moment FFF and then clicking on OK and then we'll drag it to the bottom and we have our two color uh, pattern here. I like to use color fill layers because it makes it easy to see um, what my top and bottom color are. So if I want to change the color here, you can just select it and then let's try a two-tone um, green one here or till. So now we have our pattern ready. Let's go ahead and export it as digital scrapbook paper. So I'm going to go to File, Export, Export As. And then under file settings, you can change the format um, here, uh, but in this case, we'll leave it at JPEG. And then when it comes to digital scrapbook paper, you want to make sure it's a high quality. So we'll, select, so we'll select the quality and just bring it to the highest here. And then just scrolling down, I like to click embed color profile and then click to export. Uh, now that we have our first pattern, I'm going to jump back into our original document here. And then I'm going to add a white solid color adjustment layer, FFF on the keyboard, clicking OK, and then let's bring it to the back. Highlighting the three layers here, I'm going to go Shift Option Command E. And that's just going to create a flat version of these three layers. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to turn off pattern preview mode. So let's go to view pattern preview and then we'll turn off these other layers here. And then we just have this, this a flattened layer here. I'm going to go ahead and select these white elements. So with the magic wand tool, I'm going to select my layer and then I'm going to select this here. And then I'm going to try to get these on their own individual layers. So so with this part selected, I'm going to create a new layer, uh, bringing these back to default. I'm just going to go Option Delete or Alt Backspace to fill that in. And then let's go ahead and deselect Command or Control D. And then we'll go back to our original layer here. Let's select this area, create a new layer. And again, Option Delete or Alt Backspace. And then we're going to continue to do that. Command or Control D to deselect. We'll go ahead and select the next layer, adding a new layer here. Option delete to fill it in. Command or Control D to deselect. And then we'll do that one more time. Selecting the new layer and then just filling it in there. Command or Control D to deselect. So let's go ahead and turn off this original layer. And now we have um, our individual parts here. What I want to do next is I'm going to uh, select this bottom layer here and then I'm going to go to the opacity and I'm going to bring it down to 50% and then I'm going to do the same for this top corner on the left here bringing it down to 50% and then we're going to go ahead and define that pattern again so we'll go edit define pattern clicking OK, and then we'll jump back into our pattern paper here. I'm going to bring this uh, bottom layer back to white, and then selecting our pattern layer, we'll select our new pattern. And now you have a two-toned version of this pattern because we um, adjusted the opacity of some of the elements. You can now have kind of a fun variation of this pattern. So if you easily change the color, and it will use that kind of two-tone aspect because we changed the opacity there. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun geometric star pattern using the polygon tool in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description below, I will leave a link to my Etsy shop where you can purchase digital paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.